In this video, I'd like to show you just how easy it is to find photos uh, of yourself uh, participating in an event on GeoSnapshot. So there's a few ways to do this. Uh, the first way is to go to Find Photos, which is the uh, website uh, page that I'm on now. And there's a couple of search options in here. I can go in and look at what date uh, I participated in a certain event, or I can go in here and enter some keywords uh, for an event, for example, and, um, uh, and look at all the events that match that to uh, see if that's the event that I'm after. But more often than not, the event organizer actually sends a link out um, on Facebook or via email for participants to go directly to the photos um, uh, that they were competing in, say, at the weekend. And here's an example of a, um, a link uh, that would be given to uh, participants via a Facebook post or via email. And you can see this takes me directly into the photos of this particular event um, that I might have competed in. So the default view here is that it's showing all albums that have been created by um, the photographers from the event. Uh, and we'll go down the different options, uh, but let's start with albums at the moment. So it's, by default it's showing all albums. I can select an individual album and it will only show me the photos from that particular album. Okay, So it means that I can filter uh, the event uh, via the albums that I was actually um, involved in. Um, if we clear the filters now and go back up to the top, one of the unique features of, of GeoSnapshot is face recognition. Uh, face recognition is, an, is a brilliant way uh, for people to search for their photos. They can simply drag and drop a photo in here. They can choose a photo of themselves that they might have on their computer. Well, they can take a photo, uh, and the taking a photo works really well on mobile phones. Uh, of course, the, our whole website works on mobile phones, and it means that people can upload a selfie from their phone, or if they're using a computer, they can use their camera on their computer to take a photo. The JS Snapshot website then analyzes their face in here and compares it to every single photo, uh, every face and every photo that's been uploaded for this particular event, and will filter uh, based on their uh, based on their face. It's a it's a unique uh, feature of JS Snapshot, and it's a really great way for people to find their photos uh, easily. We also have event time, um, so you can squeeze down these bars here and only look at uh, photos between these particular times um, that, um, that people were competing uh, in the event, uh, and I can filter the photos in that way. Uh, I can also go down to albums, which we had a look at earlier. I can filter by photographer as well. Now, in Geo Snapshot, uh, the power really is in multiple photographers um, being able to cover the event and all upload their photos to one place. Uh, so we can you know, filter by the individual photographers or look at all photographers' photos. And we also have bib recognition. Um, so this is used a fair bit. It's automatic on our platform. Uh, bib recognition is done for every uh, event uh, and it's instantaneous on our platform. So uh, all the um, uh, participants need to do is go in here, type their bib number, hit enter or hit this, and it will bring back all the photos uh, that it recognizes that bib number on. So there's a number of ways uh, for people to find their photos, uh, and we've tried to make it as simple as possible for uh, participants to get to their photos uh, quickly through the platform. Thanks very much.